determines of Curacao in the javelin final for under 17 girls. Gets that one well over the 30 meter mark. Continues her battle for a medal. Can pretty much say gold and silver safe based on what we have seen. Just don't know who the champion will be yet. Strong in the driver's seat. She has quite a lead there as well. Real events though, just one effort can turn the whole thing around. Can the defending champion pull it together, channel the energy through that left hand and get past her teammate to defend her title? That's the question. I, I always feel like you can never leave a defending champ out. I always feel like a champ is a champ and they know how to pull one out of the basket. Regardless of what's going on in front of them, they know how to pull one out. So I'm just going to keep my eyes open and see what happens. 33.29 meters, that last effort by Zanda Lemons of Curacao. And uh, here is Jules, a 42-92 fourth round effort, has her in the bronze medal position. Jules goes for it. And uh, this one over the 30 meter mark, but I don't think as good as the 42-92 from round four. Seemed to go for it on the run up and swung for the fences. Somehow destabilized their technique and got a, a shorter result. And she will get across. So we saw her talking to her coach. Good positive coach at it connection. He'll calm her down and refocus on those parts of the technique she needs to maybe uh, get to the silver. The gold medal, if it stays the same, out of range. But maybe she's thinking she could be like her teammate last night. Felix and get a silver. Here is a Deary Scott. Just does not look happy. The shrug of the shoulders. And the confidence, you can see the confidence is not where she wants it to be. So she's basically given up on the competition. She just figured, 